All right, Brett, we can begin the meeting. Okay, thank you. Uh, today is February 10th, uh, Planning Commission meeting called to order. Uh, can we please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America. to the Republic, to the Republic for, which for which it stands, one nation, okay. under God, God individual, individual liberty, liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, If I make any mistakes or stumble, please feel free to step in and correct me. Uh, is, is there any staff announcements or uh, agenda changes? There are none. Okay. Uh, general or uh, public comment? We don't have anybody on Zoom or in the audience. <clears throat> okay. We can close uh, public comment. Uh, moving on to consent agenda. Is there uh, consent agenda items are expected to be routine, non-controversial. They are acted upon by the, the commission at one time without discussion. Any commission member, staff member, or interested party may request removal of the item from the consent agenda for discussion. Is there any such... Request? Not me. <laughs> no. I move that we accept uh, both of the items on the consent agenda and approve the consent agenda. Second. Heard the motion. Move second. Uh, any questions? At this point, we'll take a uh, roll call votes. Uh, one thing I did forget was uh, roll call. Um, <laughs> how should we do this in that? As far as roll call? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can call each commissioner. Okay. Um, uh, commissioner Parker. I'm here. Uh, commissioner Laddish. I am also here. Commissioner Plotnick? Here. Commissioner Wooster? Yes. And Commissioner Henderson? Here. With that being said, and then uh, take a roll call vote uh, for the consent agenda. Uh, Commissioner Parker? Aye. Commissioner Laddish? Aye. Commissioner Plotnick? Aye. Commissioner Wooster? Aye. Commissioner Henderson? Aye. Uh, motion passes, 5 0. Um, uh, there is no regular agenda, uh, any, no import, in, informational items. Commissioner reports. Nope. Oh. It's a beautiful day in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, planning director reports. Is there got anything for us? I have nothing new to report. Are Are we gonna have anything uh, for next week or? Oh, for the next uh, planning commission hearing? Or, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the next planning commission hearing. Just to renew the resolution. The only thing we um, will have is to renew this. Uh, the resolution, um, if you see fit. Okay. So I, um, I understand that if we, uh, if we want to just go back to in-person meetings, we can just show up at that meeting and, uh, and proceed and not pass the resolution. Is that correct? Julie? Well, I don't think um, you don't have to show up necessarily if that's the only thing on the agenda and the vote is no, then we would just 
proceed. Um, the, the but in, in order to time. in order to continue with the um, with the option of commissioners zooming mm -hmm. into planning commission hearings, we have to continue to approve the COVID resolution. Correct. Otherwise, just by not um, not considering it next month, then it just lapses. Yeah, I mean, we also have 30 days. I don't know. Um, it doesn't have to be every meeting. It has to be every 30 days. Well, it doesn't quite make it to oh. the, we, we have to have, um, yeah, it goes over the 30 days if you hold off for next month. So since we've passed it, I think, you know, we can do it remotely for one more meeting. If it doesn't pass, we end the meeting and there's nothing else on the agenda and that's yeah. it. Okay. And if we don't pass it by the valid, <laughs> our showing up for Zoom and not passing it doesn't eliminate that meeting, I think. Well, it does eliminate the rest of the meeting. Yeah, right. But I mean, that that would be kosher if we, if we show if up and it's it. on the consent agenda and we don't pass it, I, everything's fine. <laughs> right. So right. Then why the next, next why week wouldn't we pass it just to retain the flexibility should, until such time as the state rescinds its emergency orders? That makes a whole lot of sense. Well, I mean, one thing I think you should take into consideration is the cost for actually holding a meeting. So, um, at an expense of approximately $840, we're all sitting here today talking about the COVID-19 resolution and nothing else. So, you know, something to take into consideration um, when um, moving forward with the uh, idea that we're just gonna keep continuing to meet for no other reason than to um, simply approve the resolution. Well, but we have 30 days from today. Is that correct, Julie? So yes. it wouldn't have to be in two weeks. It could be in a month when we do have other things on the agenda. Well, no, uh, I'm not saying yeah. that the next planning commission meeting would exceed. If you go a month, it actually exceeds 30 days. Right. Oh, OK. So in order to keep this going, we have to agendize it in two weeks and give you the option of, uh, of approving it once again. And at that time, we can, we'll can know whether there will be something on the regular agenda. Well, uh, we already know that there is nothing on the regular agenda for the next meeting. No, I know, but the meeting after that is what I'm talking about. Correct. And okay. if there were something on the next agenda, you, would, you could show up and some, also not vote on the... Right, on the right. Yeah. Now, if we showed up via Zoom next next uh, meeting and uh, we denied the motion, would we be, then be in violation of the Brown Act? No, because you you just would have to end the meeting. You couldn't go on to commissioner reports or any of that stuff. So you'd want to do everything else first and then vote on that. So, I mean, here, here's an idea. If we're, if we're going to put this on the consent agenda for the next meeting, then you may as well consider approving it once again, because I mean, we're already paying all of you. Exactly. You know, the expense <laughs> of having a meeting is already, is already incurred. So, yeah. um, right. you know, it makes more sense to meet, to consider the one consent item um, than it does to, you know, I mean, there's absolutely no reason to meet. Otherwise, if it wasn't for the consent item, without any other regular agenda items, the meeting would be canceled. Right. And so there's the only purpose for us meeting. And we don't have any other um, things in process like the zoning ordinance that we could make use of that meeting by achieving something. I, ha I have nothing. Um, we have no land use projects that will be on the agenda. And we haven't made enough progress with anything else to be able to bring anything forward to you for consideration or even any kind of a um, informative kind yeah. of a meeting, such as a study session or something. Right. Where are we in the uh, selection of a new permanent planning director? Um, I have been informed that it is in process. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're being kept informed. There, there were, there were 
there were interviews and I don't know the result yet of any of that. Uh. Yeah, I, I was informed this morning that um, that it is still in process and that's all I'm allowed to know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I would suggest that it's in our best interest to have the meeting, even though it's expensive, because if we don't, and there's another variant, and we we could leave ourselves in a position where we're unable to meet, I do think it's likely the state is going to rescind these orders, but who knows when. Well, on the other hand, Michelle, what I was thinking is that it's going to go for 30 days, we could let it expire and save the county some money. Uh, and it's kind of, you know, at this point, we could, at that point, if there's another variance, I'm sure that the govern, government would enact or continue this so that we would be able to do this. Is that correct, Julie? I mean, if I got somebody wanting us to agendize the ordinance again, Right. Um, I could put it on the agenda and you guys could vote on it again. So mm -hmm. if we let it lapse, is there going to be any time implications or could it just go on the next agenda, which has items? And could we do it first in order to allow us to or is there any gap in time? I, I mean, I don't know of a reason I couldn't put it back on as a new one. There's a poor, I mean, I don't, without going too far into it, there's a point where it gets a little stretched yeah. in terms of the purpose of that exception. So, I mean, it's up to the commission. I don't know of a reason why I can't put it back on. I mean, I was, I was thinking that if things are headed in a positive direction, maybe we could let it expire unless somebody something happens in the news and I get a commissioner or two contacting me or Annette asking to have it put on the agenda. I think, you know, that but might can be. Can we hear items on the same date as we put it back on the agenda? Right. If you vote it in first, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, then, it'd be like, case, it doesn't matter. It'd be like our last, the last meeting when we, first approved the, this ordinance right. and that, that it, uh, we could let it lapse, not have the meeting in a couple of weeks um, and then assess the situation as to whether or not to put it on the agenda. And I, Julie, that's not a whole lot more uh, work on your part. Is it to resurrect the thing? If no, we have the, we have the templates already. So it's just a matter of getting it on there. So, so we, we can save some money by letting it lapse um unless somebody wants it yeah back and we agendize it but yeah. but julie if it expires and then there is a need to put it back on the agenda then just like they did before they can have right but can it. can they can they via zoom or does everyone no it could be a zoom yeah because even, even if it's even yeah. if it's expired okay I mean, that it, it, when it didn't exist at all, we started by having it as a Zoom. And as long as okay. no further action is taken prior to voting on that, then we're okay. I mean, that's at least, you know, that's what the board is doing. We'll, we're in okay. line with the board when, okay. if we do it that way. Well, then that makes sense. If there's no, if it wouldn't cause anybody's item to get delayed, then I don't, why would we spend the money? In total agreement, uh, I, I think it would be a total waste of money and time and resources. Um, and if it, the need does occur, then we can enact it at that point um, at the next next uh, meeting that has uh, ag agenda items. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't see a point of having a meeting next week or the next uh, commissioner Time. meeting. Planning commissioner meeting. Right. So then our, will we have items at the first meeting in April, likely? I think that's Gina or Annette. No, I, I won't know what progress we've made um, with any 
of our current projects as to whether or not. Okay. Um, my guess is, my guess is we may not. Um, you know, we've got. I I think the new projects that we have that we're working on are not. Uh, through the process to the point where we can agendize them for a planning commission hearing. And I think those projects that um, have been e existing probably aren't going to have solutions to the issues that we're, you know, faced with to the point where we can actually agendize them. Um, there may be one, in fact, that we might be able to, but um, I'm not going to make any promises. Um, to whether or not that's going to be ready for an agenda. Okay, so I think it makes sense that we just uh, let it we've, go. We've approved this for thirty days, and if something happens in the next two weeks that make it seem that we should be approving it again, well, we could have the meeting, but that that would even be unnecessary because then the first April meeting we could resurrect this uh, this uh, Zoom option and proceed accordingly. But if there's nothing going to be on the April meeting either, why well, then we're saving even more money. Yep. Uh, so um, we're, we're protected and Julie's ready to unholster her, ord her ordinance and uh, bring it into being again if it's, if it's necessary. I, I think that makes sense. Yep, I agree. I agree with that. I also no. agree. Is there any further discussions? Hearing none, can I get a motion for adjournment, please? <laughs> I move we adjourn. I'll second that. I'll <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Henderson. You made right. it. Yes, I good job. It. Good job. Good thing it was a light one. It wasn't like the cannabis <laughs> ordinance or anything like that. So. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, everybody. See All right. you soon. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Bye bye. bye.